Hey guys, welcome to Anju Risa channel. I'm Trisa, but to make it easy, you can call me Risa. And in this video, I will show you how to make this hair bow. And the thing about this hair bow is if you use a soft fabric, the tails will fall naturally and it's very, very beautiful. So let's get started. First things first, prepare the fabric. I suggest you to use synthetic fabric like satin fabric, chiffon fabric, organza fabric, and crepe fabric. I don't know how to read crepe fabric. It's a fabric with beautiful texture. The size is about 35 centimeters by 20 centimeters. I will write the size in inches below here. Fold the fabric in half with the right sides together. Fold the fabric in half and we are going to sew this part. I will use one centimeter seam allowance so I will follow this line. After we sew the fabric, turn the fabric right side out. It's easy to turn this fabric because it's quite wide. And next thing is to press the fabric. Pressing fabric is important to make our fabric look more professional. If, especially if you want to make this hair bow for sale, I suggest you to press to press your fabric. Next, we are going to mark the center of the fabric. Fold the fabric in half and slide the ruler to the center we simply draw a straight line right in the center fold the fabric from the right side from the left side to the center and we are going to sew this part like this now put this aside next we are going to prepare a square fabric and the size is about 35 centimeters so the important thing here is to seal the end of the fabric the edge of the fabric if you want to make it easy you can use a match candles when you cut the fabric especially if you use synthetic fabric you can just seal the fabric with fire you can burn it and you can see that the fabric is sealed and it won't fray but if you want to make it perfect or tidier you can use a soldering iron let me show you it's not too scary to use a soldering iron i am using a steel ruler to draw the to cut the fabric and this soldering iron is a regular soldering iron it's not a specialized for fabric it's soldering iron for electronic so you can just draw it on our fabric draw and cut the fabric and when you draw the fabric it will perfectly cut and seal at the same time and you can see it's sealed perfectly if you want to know more about this soldering iron you can check out my previous videos right here it's actually an old video of mine but the technique is still the same i'm using ceramic tile as the board and then and then the soldering iron for electronics i cut this square fabric with a soldering iron and you can see it's perfectly cut and it won't fray I really like to cut a fabric with a soldering iron. Let's take it out. Next, I want to mark the center of the fabric. So I will fold the fabric to form a triangle. This is square fabric and you can fold it diagonally to form a square, to form a triangle. And then you can mark the center of this fabric. You can see after you mark the center of the fabric and then you fold it in half again to mark only this part, the center part of this. 
Now you can just open the fabric and you can see this is the exact center of our fabric. Now we are going to fold this to the center and the upper part to the center. So it's forming a diamond shape. What do we call this? A diamond shape. Now I'm going to gather the fabric right in the center here. I have finished gathered the fabric and I forgot to mention that we fold this to the wrong side of the fabric. So this one will be the right side of the fabric. We just gather the fabric, adjust a little and take our bow and gather the fabric right in the center. Tie it and secure the thread. Now when you fold the fabric to form a diamond shape and then you gather the fabric, the bow, the tails will naturally fall down and it's very, very beautiful. Next, prepare a hair clip or hair tie. We are going to attach this on the back side of the bow with hot glue gun, of course. Now prepare the fabric. The size is about 15 centimeters by 8 centimeters. Fold the fabric with the right sides together. And we are going to sew this part. Turn the fabric right side out. Next, I'm going to attach this to our bow. So, I want to fold the center piece like this to form a beautiful crease. And do the same thing here. We are going to fold this. And sew this part for the last time. the excess fabric and then turn the centerpiece flip the centerpiece after you flip the centerpiece I want to make sure that the centerpiece is stays in place so I will use a hot glue gun just add a dab of glue right in the inside the centerpiece right here and there you go you are ready to go our beautiful hair is finished. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and comment below about what you don't like. See you in my next video. Bye!